Welcome to the Designer Profile Series, where we are getting personal with the design community, talking about today's challenges, and what's next. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Gabrielle. I am the Materialista at Architectural Systems, and I am so excited to start our designer profile series with Warren Chipman of Chipman Design Architecture. So Warren, will you please just tell us a little about yourself and your firm and what you're all about? Sure, absolutely. Thanks so much to ASI and Gabrielle for having me on today. Um, my name is Lauren Chipman. I am CEO of Chipman Design Architecture, and we are a full service architecture design, visualization firm with headquarters in Chicago. Uh, we do have satellite offices in New York, Atlanta, and LA as well. So how have you guys been handling um, communication during this time? We were ready to go remote from uh, before day one. I had been watching the news and we had been really looking at, you know, what is coming ahead. And, and so we were doing remote testing all the way in January, which was um, extremely helpful. And so, you know, to be able to just flip a switch like that is incredible. You know, the biggest thing is being able to have that continuity for our clients, because what right. you don't want is in a kind of a cultural shift to the unknown, the last thing you want to worry about is like, oh my gosh, what's happening with my projects? Do you feel that during the different offices are working from home differently? Is it, I'm just curious. That's a, that's a great question. I think honestly, it's one of the really um, big successes that have come out of this is that it's almost like in a way we are all in the same playing field now. And, and I think if anything, it's been, um, We've had increased communication, especially to our regional offices, because we're all doing the same thing now. We're all working from home. And even, you know, in terms of time zones, um, you know, we really do encourage our team members to have that work-life balance, which I think is so difficult to find when you are literally Right. I was going to say, like, how do you separate the day from the night? What, what did, you yeah. know, how do you do that? Um, well, I am not a good example of this. <laughs> because there is no separation, but you know, I think something that's incredibly important in this time is, and that we've really been stressing is continuing to take PTO. We have worked very, very, very hard on our culture. And I think it's one of the real things that um, is unique to Chipman is that we are not an architecture and design firm that is there just to serve the clients. We want to develop our team members along the way. And it really is family first. I remember actually a few years ago, you were on a panel with, uh, for virtual reality uh -huh. and retail. So have you been like incorporating that for your, yes. right? you must, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so you know, we, we had some VR simulations that we were scheduled to do in person, which obviously that's not something you want to do right now. And so we've been able to execute on those remote and have the same type of experience where it might not be in the immersive 3D, but it is still a walkthrough of the space. And, um, and it's been incredibly helpful to keep these projects moving forward. I also wanted to touch on the, uh -huh. uh, you become a woman, woman business enterprise, which is yes. fantastic. And what drove that decision? It is something that is so important to me. And I think, especially in uh, the male dominated field of architecture and design, uh, it's something that is incredibly empowering. People are recognizing that having a more diverse, if it's workforce or consultant base or just overall team, you know, you have more opinions in there, you have more expertise, you have more uh, opportunity to learn from one another. And I think that's one of the most important things. I couldn't help but notice your beautiful <laughs> picture was in front of an ASI wood panel. Oh, there you go. So the we, we moved into our um, 40,000 square foot office about two and a half years ago. And we basically had carte blanche to really design the space how we wanted, what the entrance would feel like. And so, yeah, that wood wall between from ASI is gorgeous. And I love it because it's like a custom look, but it is 100% just modular and super easy to install. So what do you see for design in 2021 and this new normal, you know? Um, <laughs> I, like to, I like to call it a reality reset because I think there's nothing normal about what we're doing right now. And I don't think that there's, there was a lot that was normal about what we were doing previously. And it kind of goes back to that thought of how do we find what better serves us? How do we, you know, I, I talk about kind of generative 
um, leadership and how do we make sure that we are being loyal to what makes us great and what our successes are, but really kind of defining next best practices. What does the future of not the office as much, the physical environment will be able to figure out, but what does the future of a cohort look like? Because people are frankly getting tired of Zoom calls, you know, like there is real Zoom fatigue. How do you recapture the, the spark and the uh, energy that you get from being in person?